Four Formula E seasons so far, four champions. jean eric Verne, gone from Formula One outcast to, to the chosen man in, in, in Formula E. Ed Straw, you know him from Formula One. Alex Kalinorkas, you know him from Formula E. So first of all, Alex, going back to the start of the season, how much of a surprise is it that Verne emerged victorious this year? Well, I think if we look back to winter testing, and, uh, and you were there, Scott, for that, it looked as if Audi were just going to steamroll the season. Lucas Degrassi was coming off uh, winning the season three championship, uh, had the, a much more dominant package, and I think everyone, based on what was happening in Valencia, that's what they were expecting to go on. Vern finished season three, just won his first race with Chichita, um, but it was still, there's, they were the only um, privateer team because they were using a customer uh, Renault package. So you wouldn't have picked Vern necessarily straight away as the favourite going in. He was right up there, he'd, he'd been improving all the time, he got, he got that first win, sort of a monkey off your back sort of scenario. Uh, but there's, I don't think you really would have predicted he would have gone on to have the success that he did because at the end, he emerged as the dominant champion. The first few races, it was a little bit inconsistent. There was, he was on pole in Hong Kong, didn't win the race, was a little bit backwards the next one uh, to Cheetah. Uh, they didn't have the 15 days of private testing that the rest of the manufacturers benefited from. So they needed to, um, they needed to get a bit more familiar with their package and what they, what they understood from it and what was going to go forward. So they used the rookie test at Marrakesh in January and they went from there and he emerged as the driver to beat based on the back of that. Ed, you're you're a, a Formula E fan of sorts. I know we've we've watched at least one race from a from a hotel room on our F1 travels this season. You also know Jev from from F1. So what you've seen from him this year, how different as a, a driver is he now compared to his F1 days? Well, he was always very quick. That was never the problem. But he struggled sometimes just to deliver in those pressure situations. Qualifying in particular was a big problem. So I'm not surprised he's got the speed to do it. But I have to admit, in his early years in Formula E. I wasn't surprised to see him maybe having the pace, but sometimes in race situations when he was under pressure, he didn't seem to deal with it perfectly. But he's, he's made this transition from being that driver into a much more together driver who just seems able to concentrate on doing his job. Maybe we shouldn't be surprised by that. He has obviously aged, he's more mature, he understands himself, he's got the experience. So I'm not necessarily surprised, but I think it's just a bit of a shame that he wasn't able to do that in his F1 days. He, it's just come too late for him. He is, um, he is a guy who was on pole in his very first Formula E race, we shouldn't forget that. So the speed has always been there, but Alex, you mentioned Audi had problems at the beginning of the season, but, but Jev has developed into a driver. He says efficiency was his big weakness in FE and it's now become his biggest strength. So how much of this was Jev earning the title and not just Audi throwing it away? Oh, completely. He, he specifically said that he looked back on what he did when he was in karting and an area he said that he needed to improve was in the wet. He said he, was, he wasn't very good in the wet. So what did he do? He lived near a karting track. So whenever it rained, he went out and drove around in his car on slicks. And that's how he improved. And he applied that same logic to his Formula E, you know, problems with energy management. He said, well, how do I need to fix this? I need to get in the simulator. I need to work on every single scenario and I need to uh, sort of improve step by step by step. And that's what he did. They ended up being, I think it was 65 days in total just purely concentrating on getting every single race scenario and energy management and ironing out those problems uh, and things like that. Um, and that's how, you know, if you look at the points difference, Degrassi and Audi, when they fixed their inverter problems and their reliability, they absolutely roared back and they were right up there. So, uh, so Vern did take advantage of the fact that he'd accrued a load of points early on in the season, but he did that classic motorsport. It's almost a cliche, isn't it? You know, the champions, they, uh, you win the seasons on your off days. And he didn't, he didn't really have a, a catastrophic off day. He never retired from a race. I think 10th in Zurich was the worst that he did. And the reason why that happened was because he was uh, involved in the, uh, oh, there were plenty of full course yellows penalties in that race. And that's what ended up putting him down the order. So it could have been even better, really. So Jev was mega this season, obviously this week your Autosport Formula E season review is coming out which includes the ever controversial top 10 drivers. So give us, a, give us a hint, where can you tell us where Jev's going to emerge in that? Well I can't quite tell you, I have to buy Autosport magazine on Thursday or get an Autosport Plus subscription, that's the, the top 10 will be out on Friday. I'm expecting, uh, I'm expecting a few not so happy drivers um, but I think it'd be fair to say Jev will be right towards the sharp end of that because uh, he topped, he won the most races, he was on pole the most times and he won the championship. But will he be number one? I can't tell you that now. So make sure you pick up Autosport magazine this week or check out autosport.com to find out who Alex has put as his top 10 drivers. Make sure you comment below to let us know your picks. And also a little challenge, why don't you tell us who you think was the worst driver in Formula E this season?